Look, um, I'm going to address a few things that um, really just need to be said about the actual wrestling industry as a whole. Because if you are new to this channel and if you've seen this video and passing by, I'm sure you've heard of the same thing over and over again. WWE is the blame, AEW is the best, uh, Vince McMahon's horrendous, the wrestling industry is terrible because of this, 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 and this. And I'm so sick of it because legit, I have watched about a few videos um, of the, what is it, the mainstream IWC is what you might call it. And uh, just to put it straight, none of them have a fucking clue what they're talking about. Um, we are talking about the ratings when it pertains to WWE Raw and AEW. Now, what I'm going to say in this video, if you are a new subscriber, might be something new to yourself. Because I'm sure you're so used to people praising AEW and saying that they're amazing, okay? If you are an AEW fanboy and you can't take criticism and you can't take it because the indies or whatever it might be uh, it is the greatest thing. You think Kenny Omega is the best thing in the whole wide world. This is not the channel for you. I'm sorry, okay? If you want to live in a fantasy world, please subscribe to any other guys, okay? Uh, and I know by me actually doing this by default doesn't make me popular in what is the realm of the IWC. But wrestling as a whole isn't popular by the figures that we've seen in front of us. Today we are talking about WWE Raw and AEW. Now, there's been some accusations thrown my way recently that I am a uh, WWE fanboy. I want to make things perfectly clear. WWE recently has been absolutely deplorable when it comes to their actual show. Their booking is completely awful. Their storytelling is completely awful. And, and lastly, their characters are awful. What I'm sick, sore, and tired of hearing is... And also wrestling fans are horrible. Um, a lot of people are thinking that I'm going to be... Loving the fact that the fans are coming back. I'm not because it's going to be filled with these smarky neckbeard weirdos who are going to cheer for mid-carders that aren't going to make the wrestling business better than what it is, okay? The wrestling business, as we know it right now, needs proper stars. Proper men that people can look up to. Women that men want to see constantly or what women want to look up to or whatever it might be. That's the problem with the wrestling industry. Wrestling as a whole is a is a getaway from the, 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 the issues that we're going through in today's society. That is what wrestling is all about, okay? I don't like it when we bleed WWE with politics and... Uh, narratives and all this here. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that because wrestling as a whole is an escape from the world that we know it today. Here's the thing. Lockdown in some countries is still happening. There is some actual kind of lockdown procedures or whatever it is sometimes in America here and there. So why is the ratings low? Why is it during this pandemic when everyone was working from home, when everyone was not really out and about, when everyone wasn't out and about with their friends, why is the rating so low, okay? And I'll tell you why. We, as a wrestling industry, we as a whole, have somehow distracted ourselves that, yes, the wrestling matters, but we've taken away storytelling, basic storytelling, basic characters, building them from the ground up, okay? And I'm going to get into Alistair Black or, or, what's his name? I don't know, Tommy or Malachi or Malcolm, Malcolm Black, Malcolm, Malcolm, I don't know, I don't care, okay? I want to get into why, why I, I respect what he's doing. I respect what he's trying to do, okay? And I, at least he's trying something. I will, I will actually put my hands up and admit this. I seen the, the, the whole thing. And I'm not going to lie, it did look like amateur art. It did look like what some someone like myself at the age of 10 listening to Lambiscuit in the background would probably create a story. Like, this time I'm a da 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 ah, ah, I'm a na na asylum, oh, but no, it's my way, it's... Right, anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting distracted. 
what I'm trying to say here, folks, is that while I understand that some of you might be biased, and hell, I'm guilty of it as well to a certain degree, I try to go as middle of the road as possible. I try my best to go down the middle of the road, alright? I try not to bash all the indies. As much as it's a complete cesspool of clowns, I try my best. Because there is some wrestlers in the indies that actually are good. There's actually wrestlers in the indies that are generally good. Same as the way that there are some wrestlers in AEW that are, are actually generally good. And I know a lot of you are going to fall off your chair and say, What, Jerry? You're praising some aspects of AEW? I am. AEW could be an amazing show. It really can. But when Kenny Omega... Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks are, are, are hogging the spotlight of the show rather than highlighting the talent that is actually on the roster. It is affecting it. Why in God's green earth is Cody Rhodes involved with Alistair Black's story? Could they have not picked anybody different? Could they have not picked anybody better? Like, at least a stepping stone or something. Why does it have to be Cody Rhodes? Why does this... Why does this man who is so insecure have to insert himself in literally everything? Can he not just... Piss off just for two seconds? I, I, look, I'm not gonna outright hate Alistair Black, okay? I know I made a joke about the Limbiscuit thing. But I could see what he's trying to do, Okay. It's a cringe fest. Now, the, 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 the younger demographic, they might like this. Which, more part to you, is just, for me, it's a bit cringy, okay? And I know wrestling is really just a... Wrestling in general is just a cringe fest on its own, but... It seemed to me a bit too try-hard. For me, okay? But, I'm gonna give it a chance. I know you're all falling off your chair and saying, Come, what are you? I am trying my best, people, to watch wrestling. I am trying. It is so hard right now. It is so hard. And this is something that nobody tells you on YouTube. Everyone says it's hard to watch WWE. And I get that. It is absolutely. But both AEW, Impact, WWE. So WWE, AEW, Impact, whatever, Ring of Honor, whatever you these companies need to try more. They do need to try more. And I'm sorry about this kind of philosophy that WWE is completely to blame. They are completely to blame to a certain degree. I mean, the fact that you have a billion dollar company that can't hire decent writers is just a, a, a complete and utter joke. It's a complete joke. But my problem is that we have to hell all of these companies accountable. Everybody across the board. Everybody needs to be held accountable for not actually having the love and care of doing well when it comes to professional wrestling. That's why I'm not happy about it. We'll start off with WWE Raw. I went on a bit of a tangent there, I apologise, but I, I just gotta say a few things. Um, WWE Raw, awful. Um, I've seen clips of it, generally terrible. Uh, last week's Monday Night Raw only averaged a 1.4 rating. 1.4 million viewers. So 1.472 million viewers. That's that's a disgrace. That they should be consistently hitting twos and threes, a minimum three minimum. I know like some people might sound that as if it's real unrealistic, but I don't see why it's so unrealistic. You know, and, and, and again, the reason why these ratings are going down is because we have told casuals to go away. I I I say this constantly, and a lot of people on Twitter or whatever it might be. Use casual as a dirty word. If you are a casual wrestling fan, there is nothing wrong with that. I don't know why we have in wrestling society said that a casual fan is not a real wrestling fan. That a casual fan who occasionally watches SummerSlam and occasionally watches Raw when they're finishing work is a bad person. Why have we got to that level? Why is it that we are pointing at casual fans and saying, you're not real wrestling fans? And then when those casual fans leave, and we're literally just left with a bunch of absolute weirdos, which is what we're seeing now, we're seeing a bunch of absolute weirdos, and the ratings go down, and then they wonder why the ratings go down. Oh, we don't need casual fans. 
No, I don't need any casual fans. No, we've got our own club. we got our own club. And if you don't follow what we say, you're out of here. No, not on my watch. It's not going to happen. Sorry, it's not going to happen at all, personally, for me. And I think people should be absolutely ashamed of the way they're getting on right now. So, WWE Raw, um, I just want to say this. This 18 to whatever demographic, can we just cut the shit? Dirt sheets, I know you don't have a lot to report on. Um, and you don't really have a lot to talk about. Can you just knock that off? The 18 to whatever demographic doesn't matter. It's the overall viewership. You're an idiot. I'm sorry. Oh, oh well, if you're if, if you're like 50 or if you're 60 or whatever, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Like if you're you know if you're a certain age, that doesn't matter. That that's how bad we've gotten here, people. That's how bad we've gotten. Where we're literally isolating fans. We're telling them to go away because of their age, all because of some sources that post that. The 18 to was a 40 demographic did well. What about people in their 50s or 60s or 70s? We're just good. We're just gonna throw them away. We're just gonna say no. See you later. Is that the point that we've gotten to right now? I, I honestly do think wrestling fans should be absolutely ashamed of the way they've been getting on recently. I really, really do. It's absolutely disgusting the way some of some fans have been getting on. Like just the whole kind of like I watched a scene on Twitter and. A casual fan was on Twitter saying, oh, I checked out WWE for the first time. I quite like this person. And then just a ring of these weird gargoyles just attacking this person for casually liking WWE Raw. I'm casually liking something. Or like a certain wrestler, whatever it is. Is that the point where we've gotten? Is that the point that we've gotten where we have to brutally attack casual fans for remotely liking some of the product? Is that what we've gotten to, people? Uh, 1.4 million views. Absolutely horrendous. Apparently, there was talk that the actual... 1993. Uh, apparently, the 1993 had a um, 1.4 rating. So... It's not the... It is the lowest. I, I, we're just going to say that it is technically the lowest. They were saying that apparently September 13th of... September 13, 1993, that got a 1.021 million households. Um, if that episode had any fewer than uh, 1.45 viewers per home, it would have had fewer total viewers than Monday's episode. So, uh, it's not the lowest of all time, but it's, the, I would say, lowest of all time modern, because it's just, it's terrible. You know, um, now, now obviously there's going to be people now saying, what about the Stanley Cup Finals or what about the NBA? Look, if I turn around and say that WWE have a pass on that, I will look like a complete hypocrite by actually bashing AEW. I'm sorry, but if you're using a sports as, a, as an actual excuse, if you're using sports as an excuse for your low ratings, I'm sorry, but that's a week. Oh, sorry, we'll get low ratings now. We'll just wait till another time before we get... A no, no, no. You're all in it to win it. That's what it is. You know, I remember at one point, more people were watching WWE than some sports shows. Even the Euros, like the Euros that, that are happening now, I didn't really watch it. I thought it was a bit boring, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, WWE, like, they had Drew McIntyre and AJ Styles, and then they had, like, uh, yeah, that moron Matt Riddle on top of a ladder with his bare feet and Miz is there and he's doing a wheelchair gimmick or something like that with like John Morrison or whatever. It's just trash. It's just like kitty kitty shit and it's just it's getting bad. Like not even children would watch this and, and like it to say the least. Uh, speaking on the flip side word <sighs> uh, AEW Alright, AEW's viewership actually took a dip as well. Uh, who thought, you know, uh, called Road Rager? Terrible. I love the fact, like, every, like AEW get Road Rager. What a terrible name for a pe with a show. What a terrible, terrible name. It drew um, only uh, 871,000 viewers. This was down from last week. Which is eight eight uh, three, uh, but still have the above final Wednesday viewership. 
before their five-week move from the usual Wednesday slot to Friday night and Saturday prime time. Um, you might see a bit of a jump there, but I'm going to be honest. They're, they're constantly hitting that number, that 800. And there's some of them are celebrating that the 800,000 viewers. Like, there's, there's kids unboxing on YouTube that get more than that. Like, really? Um, their key demographic was also down from a 0 0.33 as well. So this notion, and by the way, who were they against? The Real Housewives and the Big Bang Theory replay. So like, where's the excuse for AEW? Where is the excuse? Horrendous. Um, Look, the whole thing with Alistair Black, I want to break it down. There is ways that you can write a wrestler, an asylum-style wrestler, whatever it might be. Kane, for example, I, I watched, obviously, Smart Buster's recent video. Kane's a perfect example of a good asylum character. Uh, Mankind is a good example of an asylum character. Uh, my problem with this... Um, Tommy, uh, which is an ongoing meme right now here in the General Jerry channel. But C Tommy End or whatever it is or something like that, whatever he wants to call himself now these days. Um, I felt as if he needed time to breathe the character. In fact, I would, if I was going to do this, I would have segments very similar to what Chris Jericho did with WWE. Do you remember the whole, like, um, a force has arrived, a force has arrived and... Tease it and tease it and tease it. Who's it going to be? I think they should have done that. Instead, they just had like some cheap filming. He like hit someone. There was blood and stuff like that, which is really good to see. But it just comes off cheap. You know, to me, I feel like the character has come off a little bit cheap. Now, he's still redeemable. I'm still going to give him a chance. I'm not going to like... Like, you know, old yeller, like, and I'm never watching him again. Like, I'm not going to do that. It's just that I felt as if, and that's the problem with AEW. They don't allow some of their characters to breathe, okay? And a lot of you fans complain about, where's the constructive criticism? I've been given constructive criticism about this company. They don't allow their characters to breathe. They have them on, say, you know that guy, yeah? No, no, I don't know them. You know him, yet? Yeah? No, 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 I don't know him. Go on, there you go, boy, go on. Like, that's the problem with AEW. They don't allow characters to breathe. They don't allow them to, they just go and just shove them out there. They just put them out there. And it's like, why? Like, why? Like, the thing is, is that I watched the segment of Alistair Black. And I appreciate him trying to do something. It's just that it's been done before. It's nothing new, really. Like, the, uh, people are hyping this character up like it's absolutely amazing. The thing is with him is that there's a million different indie guys that do exactly what Alistair Black does. You know, there's a million different things that he does. You know, um, I would have even, like, I mean, if you wanted to draw inspiration from it, like, I'm just just shooting right now, like, throwing ball. I, if I, anybody who's watched The Punisher Season 2... Of Jigsaw with the mask. Um, I personally. If I was going to do it. As a booker. I'm such a smart. I know. But if I was going to book it. I wouldn't show his face. I would like find out. Guess who it is. Right. I wouldn't even like. See the her and everything. I would just. Do it where it's not. Where he's not recognisable. Have a mask on there. Very similar to. Um, like. And. If they're going to go through this, oh, it was all a dream for five years and you took my memory and blah, 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 blah. It's like there's so much lore being thrown at me about this character that he's really, he's supposed to be a psycho, but he comes out in like a tailor-made suit. You know, this man kills people, but then he he literally just, he kicks people. And I'm sorry, but... 
And I hate to say this, a lot of people might disagree with me this. I think his finisher is god awful. His black mask mask is just it's not great. Like I, I don't like it. It's just a basic kick. I love people were kind of bashing Chris Jericho for the you know the was it the Judas effect? But like we don't say anything about this move. Like it's not great. Like it's just a twist kick to the head. That's all it really is. It's not like an amazing finisher. I, I mean, if I was going to do anything, I would change the finisher, make it more better. In fact, um, one of the finishers that I think he should do, because he's a strong guy, is a finisher where you lift them up, almost like, you know, like, I know it's going to trigger a few people, but you know, like uh, Goldberg's finisher, um, you know, the, the jackhammer, I would do that, but then flip it into a stunner. Like, you know, our truth finisher that he had back in the day okay where he's showing his feet of strength like psychology now, this is the way a wrestler should be thinking right now lifting up showing strength, but that sinister um hit of flipping it and doing that like that's an impact like that's like oh shit like he's a venomous guy he he's and that's the thing with wrestling like i'm saying these things and I know some of you are nodding agreeing with me, like, actually, it's not bad, like, and I don't want to toot my own horn, but there's a reason why I've done this for 10 years, is that I'm not going to sit here and yell, I, I do yell and scream, like, no denying it, but, but I love professional wrestling, I want it to be better, okay, and I hope, and I don't expect any rewards from it, but I will try and throw little things so they can pick up on it, because I'm not desperate, I'm not desperate for wrestling to get better, I'm not hooked. There's no, like, hook at all anymore for me. Really. Like, I think Roman is just the only decent wrestler now. And I know people might disagree with me, but he, he is the only decent one there. Like, he's the only one that's actually trying in WWE. Really, like, SmackDown... I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I actually watch SmackDown for Roman. That's it. You know, and... I don't know, man. I think wrestling just in general. Like, I kind of dropped the persona a wee bit here, but... I I'm very worried about wrestling. I'm very, very worried about the state of professional wrestling. I'm worried of what's going to happen in the next five years. This isn't a joke. This isn't me saying this. and but I I'm not going to be these YouTubers that just... <laughs> like, I'm not going to do that, okay? This time. But I'm being serious... I am I am concerned. I I generally don't think the wrestling industry if it continues down this road, I do not think it's going to survive in 10 years. And I think we need to hold not just one company, but all the companies accountable of how wrestling is right now. You know? I don't whenever gaming industry right now is actually right now for me, I think there's no decent video games anymore. Personally, there's nothing that really stands out to me to buy a video game now. Uh, they get held accountable. So why can't the, the wrestling industry as a whole be held accountable? The only way to fix it is by actually telling these people what we want. Not in a smart, not the small amount, not the small minority of, 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 these, um, of these fans that are screaming and making... And going mental and everything. And I've been accused of it. Don't get me wrong. But I think we as a wrestling industry need to listen to those that aren't talking so much. We actually need to listen to those that actually want real wrestling. And if you are a wrestling fan passing by. Please. Give feedback to some of these companies. If you feel. And, and I know it's hard because as soon as you go on Twitter and you try and give feedback. These neckbeards will jump on you. That's the only way that we're going to let wrestling industry survive. Like, unless another company comes in. But, like, what billionaire wants to invest in in something like this? Not a lot, guys. Not a lot. Anyway. A little bit depressing video. But this is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out, buddies. Oh, oh. It's down, buddy. Down.